Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to filter large sets of data within Excel so that you can view subsets of that data. And you can basically filter the information, the content down to just what you would like to see. Now if you'd like to get the workbook that you see here, you can go to teachexcel.com, search for the video tutorial and download the workbook there. So what I've got here is a sample list of sales from salesmen that work at um, say a company and it's been imported via a test CSV file. I've used it before and uh, anyway let me zoom in real quick. We're gonna assume that column A these people are our salesmen and what I want to do is I want to be able to filter to see specifically only the sales made by a certain salesman as well as different stages of the sales, the company. So I'm going to filter the data down. So I'm going to show you specifically how to filter by one criteria or one column and then how to do it with multiple columns at the same time. It's very, very useful. So the first thing to note is when you're filtering data, it is really just a good idea to have headers. You really need headers when you're going to filter data because you want something that's not going to change. So I want to know that this column is always a contact column, this is a city column, this is a company column. As well, Excel is going to be expecting that you have headers on your data. So what you want to do is you could stay on the Home tab and click Sort and Filter over here. But I prefer to go to the Data tab in the Sort and Filter box. You see the little filter icon right here. And you can click it, or there's a shortcut, Control-Shift-L see right there. As soon as you click it, it's going to put these little drop down arrows on every um, box or every cell in the first row of your data. So Excel went to the first row, said, oh, these look like headers, so we're going to count them as headers. Now, when you see them, you can click on any one of these to get a bunch of different filter criteria. And every column is going to have one in the data set. So even way down here. Now the way that Excel, <clears throat> this is important, the way Excel determines what data it's going to include in the filter is based on if there are no empty rows or columns between that data. So if I went down here, skipped one row and had a lot more data starting at row 52 that data would not be included in the filter. So it's important to note that there cannot be empty rows or columns between your um, data sets that you would like to filter as one. So let's go ahead and talk about actually filtering. Now click the drop down arrow and you can actually do sorting this way as well but we're going to filter. If you hover over text filters you can um, do a bunch of these different kinds of filters. But for now, I'm simply going to show you how to use what you see here. So in the box right here, you're going to see um, all of the unique values within that column. The values in this column being the names of our salesmen and women. So every unique salesman or woman is listed here. And by default, everything is checked. If it's checked, it means we're going to be able to see it. Now what I want to do is I want to uncheck this so we can see only one particular salesperson's sales. Let's say Edna Brock. So I want to see her sales so I'm going to click that and select OK. So check it out. Now we only see Edna Brock sales and all of the information going all the way down is only for her. Now it's important to note that none of the information or the other data has been deleted you can simply see this is cell row 1 to row 16, 27, 28, 31, and 50. So the other data is simply hidden. Now let's go ahead and filter by some other criteria. So here we've got the record manager. Let's say I only want to see the records for Chris Huffman. So I'm going to click this drop down, uncheck select all, and then check Chris Huffman. Select OK. All right, great. So let's keep going. I can see the sales status right here. And further down there is something for sales stage. Okay, so this is the stage of the sale. Now I'd like to further drill down to see only the sales that she has won. So drop down, uncheck select all, 
and check closed one. Now we see only the sales that uh, are from Edna Brock with a record manager, Chris Huffman, and actually I'll zoom in a little bit more, Chris Huffman, and where is it? The sales stage, that's one. So sales that she has actually won for the company. Now, let's see here. It's kind of difficult to make this any bigger, but um, whenever you click the drop down arrow, all that we've been doing is going to this little box right here to uncheck select all. Now, if you want to view everything again, all you have to do is check select all. So now that I check select all and click OK, we see all of the sales from the sale that are um, managed by Chris Huffman and from Edna Brock. So let's go ahead and sort that again. Now to get the filter off, click this. And you could also do a clear filter from sales stage. That will immediately take the filter away. So if I want to remove individual filters, let's go to the record manager. I can click the little filter icon here and you notice you can tell that this column is being filtered when there's a little um, filter sign on it or whatever. It looks different than the others. The others have drop down arrows. So click that and click clear filter from record manager or in this case since this is all we did was m touch stuff down here check select all. Now if you want to get the filter off of the entire thing, so say you have a ton of filters here, um, and you don't want to have to go through them all, right? All you have to do is simply the filter icon up here, click that. As soon as you click that, everything goes back to normal. And you see all of your data just like you did before. The most important thing to remember is that none of your data is deleted and the order of your data, none of that is changed. So nothing has been sorted, only filtered. The difference between that is that the filter only hides rows of data. It doesn't move them around, it doesn't delete them. So that's pretty much it for the basics of um, filtering large data sets in Excel. Remember, all you have to do to filter really quickly, select your data, click filter, go to the drop down arrow, and start filtering really easy to do once you get the hang of it and um, really quite a powerful tool that can save you some time. So if you'd like to get this workbook go to teachexcel.com search for the tutorial and you can download it there. That's it for this tutorial.